live on the Lamley YouTube channel. I haven't done a live stream in a while. I guess since last week when I opened up those ridiculously bad GameStop cases. For those curious, I actually returned them to GameStop. They took them. Said, yeah, it's worth returning based on the condition of how they arrived. And I will find myself a set of those exclusives someday. Uh, no rush right now, but that's Hot Wheels. We're talking Matchbox today. I actually was going to start the 2020 uh, Lamley Awards. I have several features I'm going to be doing, some live, some recorded, um, with Tarmac Works, Mini GT, you name it. Obviously, uh, culminating with Matchbox and Hot Wheels. We'll be going through a lot of cool brands that I collect, showing off the best. But I wanted to continue doing a 2021 preview because I have Matchbox Mix 2. Mix B, you'll see this Bugatti. You'll say, that's in Mix A. Correct. Never opened it. So I put it here. Just going to do that for now. Let it turn around. I actually have one other one that I want to open. I never did this feature and I should have done it. I mean, there's so many cool models in Mix A um, from the Dodge truck to the uh, National Parks. If we have time, maybe I'll open some of these later here on this live stream, um, if you guys want me to. Of course, the return of the Nissan Z. But um, I opened up the Bugatti because I think a lot of people, and I, I know a lot of you have found it. I actually saw it in Target yesterday or two days ago, gave it to someone. Uh, but I do want to open up the 1962 Plymouth Savoy. I never did. I have not. It's cool artwork, too. I have not opened it yet, and I'm dying to look at it, and I've just been... Ah. Mind has been elsewhere. I've had some other things that I've needed to do, and so I wanted to open this now. There's no reason to wait because I'm going to be opening up all of these Mix 2 models. So let's go ahead and do it. You can. We already talked about when we did the unboxing that Matchbox has new artwork. It is absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'm going to open up this Plymouth Savoy right now. So um, Obviously, Matchbox does not do as many mixes as uh, Hot Wheels does, so we're going to get a pretty wide array of new model debuts in each um, in each mix, and we'll talk about that in mix B. Um, but I, oh my gosh, look at this! Isn't that just an awesome, awesome casting? This Plymouth Savoy, a really cool choice, very unique choice. And this one, like I said, I'm looking at it for the first time out of the box or out of the case, and. Uh, this looks so good. Look at the detailing on the back as it's going around. Uh, did they put any on the side? They actually did. You can see that they put the Plymouth badge and then that side trim. I don't know if there's anything on the front, but because they went with the chrome, even the headlights, they don't need a lot of those detailing, especially since they did it on the body. Really, really nice. I can already see you guys making comments about uh, what is in the background. We will get to those. Um... And I showed some pictures of some of these on Instagram, so we'll get to that. But let's go ahead and do it. You guys are very patient. What do you guys think of this uh, Plymouth car? I, I think it is fantastic. I'll be shooting some photographs of that soon. All right. I've got a whole array in the background so you can see quite a few models here. So we're going to start from the back and move to the front. As one's turning, I will show another. So I'm going to start right Eh, we don't want to start with a trailer, do we? Uh, why don't we start here with this? This is the 1961 Ford Ranchero. I'll just be walking through each one of these. Um, there is the art in the background there. This is from the, I don't know what series this is from. If you look at the card art, now I'm just, we're pretty close up here, so I can't really show you the cards perfectly, but this is from their, I think there was a name for these and I was told and I always forget, but this is the Ford Ranchero in blue. So we've seen, I think, this in red and also in white. I don't know if we've seen any since then. But all of these will be, and I don't know if I've mentioned, Mattel did send this mix over to me. I'll do an unboxing when I get it um, from either Mattel or A&J Toys. Um, and we'll show the assortment of models. I don't know what the assortment is in each case, but I do know what the models are. There was one model that was supposed to be in here that was delayed, and it's the Toyota Hilux pickup truck. Um, that's going to be delayed one mix, I believe. And those of you who are asking about the Mazda 3, I think that is going to be coming up soon as well. I don't know if it'll be in mix 3 or mix 4, but it is coming. Really, really nice casting, this one. Love the blue color. Doesn't have the chrome, which I don't know if we've seen the chrome on this model yet. But um, 
I think in this color it'll be a hit for sure. I'm doing this live stream a little early. It is the holidays. We're moving into the holidays. And um, so I just thought I would do it and let you guys watch it into tomorrow. And then I've got the Lamley Awards coming and coming quick. All right, next one is the Trailer Trawler. It is one of the um, trailers that Matchbox does. There's the artwork in the background. This video is set up because I like to do close-ups on the cars and I'm doing this live. I have to kind of go as we go. So can't show it all for you very clearly, but you can see it. All right, I don't have, at least at this point, um, I don't have a tow hitch. If we find a tow hitch among these cars, let me look. See if I've got a tow hitch to use here. I don't know if I do. If I do, we'll use it on here. Um, moss rods, Matchbox is making the yes. May announced all of these back in July, so most of these shouldn't be as a surprise. And if you haven't, you can go back and see that preview that we did. Um, can I put a word in for a Honda Accord Coupe? Uh, I know that they like this stuff too, so. So this is the trailer, obviously it says Red Valley Camp. It has a removable canoe. Well, we won't do that right now. Metal and plastic. John thinks there's not enough hitches. I think there's, oh, you know what? We do have a tow, tow hitch on one of the new models. So we'll use that here. We'll put the trailer off to the side. Actually, I'll let it roll while we do the uh, next one. All right, how about this guy? 1935 Ford pickup done in rat rod style swap meet special look at the art I'll show you the art here sorry for the uh, you can just see it in the background if I take it off maybe it'll go into focus there you are looking pretty good let's open it up again I don't have the names of these mixes so I so I'm ill prepared on that one Check this guy out. I think a lot of people have been big fans of this casting. Nice to see Matchbox do a rat rod doing this one in kind of a rusted patina look, it looks like. Grill is legendary. I love the swap meat special style. This one's really cool. Asking, is it flat red? Yeah, I would say it's flat red. Is the lighting good on here? I can even try and get a little bit closer. How's that? Yeah, I'd call it a flat red for sure. But it has, so it, it, it ends up having kind of a rusty look to it. While you're watching that one, let's go across here to the 2015 Ford F-150 contractor truck. I actually like this one. Put it in the background. There's your art in focus so you can take a look at it. Let's open it up. You guys will have to tell me what you think. That's from one Ford truck to another, but two very different eras and two very different styles, right? I mean, come on, let's have fun with these two. Look at that. Is that not two? Those are both Ford pickups. Crazy, right? A little different. Sunny Solar. I like this style of truck. I like that Matchbox did it. I think it's a really nice casting. Contractor in the neighborhood is new. We see those all the time. They need that with a hitch trailer with a skid steer. That would be cool. Hitch trailer in that casting would be cool. I agree with that. No one really buys the contractor truck. I think they do buy them. You might see a couple hanging, of course, but I think a lot of people buy them. I think a kid would love having that. So so I think that one is cool. We'll get rid of the hot rod. Let this one roll for a little bit while I try another one. Let's go over here. Old classic. Been around for almost 15 years. It is the Ridge Raider. We haven't seen it in forever. There's a look at the art. An original for sure, you know, done in this rally style Dakar racer kind of style, right? Dakar. Hope I'm saying that right. Of 
I'm looking at this one. This one is in a, actually, it's kind of in a, I would call it a satin red. Number eight on the side. I'm trying to look at the rest. Deet likes Matchbox more. So that Lions Brothers Racing, that logo has been on several Matchbox cars of late. Not of late, maybe in the last 10 years. And um, I'll have to look and see. I wonder if this uh, casting was modified too. It may have been. It's not a casting I collect, so I don't have any old ones to look at. When will the 32 Ford Hot Rod come? The Swap Meet Special. It's in this mix, which is, I think it's hit in places like, um, I've seen some people in Europe have found it, maybe Australia. I don't know if they found the whole mix, but some of it. So there is the, well, let's put the Ridge Raider here and let's go over here. Let's go off-road again, kind of, with the Jeep. 2019 Jeep Renegade. I think it debuted last year in green. Now we have it in red. There's your artwork. Matchbox and Jeep have quite a fruitful relationship, do they not? Hopefully you guys are all having a good holiday. Some of you are probably still working. We've got a couple days, maybe taking Christmas Eve off, Christmas Day off, hopefully, at least here in the States. Sorry, but that's going to be a peg warmer. Well, look. Will it sell better? Will it sell like the Bugatti? Of course not. But it's, I mean, let's let's focus on the variety. If it pe if it's a peg warmer, eventually it'll get purchased by a very excited kid. I mean, compare what what Matchbox used to be. Think about all these licensed vehicles. You know, having the occasional peg warmer is okay. Hot Wheels has a ton of them too. So, I'll tell you when I'm disappointed in a casting, but not with these. Not too boring, says Jared. And yeah, do I care about the Jeep Renegade or whatever it's called? No, I don't at all. Like, someone, if a Jeep Renegade passes me on the road, I mean, I'll probably be looking at the streetlights or uh, like a newspaper stat. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. They're boring. But a replica of any sort of vehicle, and if it's done well, I think it's cool. And I think this one is really, really cool. All right. Let's keep going. Here's another one. Polar Polaris Razor RZR, right? We still have to show the results. This one debuted in 2020. Artwork is there for you. This one might be on one of those lists <laughs> that you voted on. Boom. Let's let that one roll for a couple of minutes. I don't, again, this is another one. Do I care about a Polaris Razor? Actually, no. In fact, I'm quite, I'm not a fan of all of these vehicles. I, I think they end up destroying so much of the pretty land that we live around. Um, but it is a real car and, or a real vehicle. And this is a really nice replica of that. So, um, so I'm cool with it. I think it's great. Not my cup of tea, but I think it's great. All right, let's move on. How about the Express Delivery? This is another one we haven't seen in a while. Kind of it looks like they modeled the uh, taco truck. There's the art um, off of this one, or the new, you know, the new food truck. I call it a taco truck because uh, that's what I'm used to. But um, and they, you know, they they the food truck they made less off road and more realistic, which I think is nice. This one, it's a big casting. It used to be metal. It was like metal for only like two or three versions. And now it's plastic with a metal base. Some people don't like that. To me, I'd rather see this plastic with a metal base than, you know, like the Bentley coming up that we're going to show. So, Amp Recording, Recording Sound Lab, and Custom Digital Electronics Installations. Cool, ad, cool I'm assuming this is a fictional um, company, right? But it's kind of cool. All Musicians Unified. It's really cool. Nathan asks if this is based on real companies. I don't think this one is. I like Del Taco. As I forget the Matchbox makes the Bugatti Devo. Well, you shouldn't. Um, 
put that away. All right, next one while this one is going. Want to go Mustang? Let's go Mustang. I'm kind of saving what I think. The, I'm saving the new castings and what I think is the best for last. So here is the Mustang really close up. 2018 Ford Mustang convertible. Let's show you the artwork. Really pretty artwork. Look at that. Right? Isn't that cool? Um, let's open it up. So we've seen this casting two or three different versions. Um, different colors. I think they've always had the five spoke wheels. These wheels that we see on the Jeep. But now we get the ten spoke. Not not particularly keen on this casting. I don't, you know, you, I don't think it came out great. Um, it looks a little too boxy for a Mustang for me. Um, I do like this color combination though. I like the black with the gold rims a lot, quite a bit actually. One of my favorite matchboxes ever. Let's see if I have it here. Let me pull this out. Hold on. That's why we're live, right? One of my favorite matchboxes. Yeah. Let me show this to you. Sometimes you get, sometimes you remember and we're live, we can do this. This one. This is from several, this is from like 2008. Matchbox CTS Coupe. This was a 10 spoke, ex, uh, 10 pack exclusive. And uh, they did this one in black with gold rims, and I thought it was super sharp. And so that's what uh, obviously. And look at that one in jet black. It's great casting. In fact, it's a. It's in the. It's on the shelves now as a another nine pack exclusive in white. Right. Cool casting. I think. The, I think this was always a cool car. I like the wagon even more, but this coupe was cool. So this Mustang reminds me of that. That Cadillac's a tough one to find these days. By the way. Yeah, and they did release it, Ryan said they released it in the Cadillac series. I think they did, right? Did they release it in black? Except the new one doesn't have the full taillights going all the way up the back of the trunk. So that's how you'll know the difference. But that's an all-timer for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't bring my water. I should have done that. All right, while the Mustang is turning... I think this one's going to be a favorite for a lot of you. Actually, no, let's save that one. Let's go to this. Let's go to the Beetle. 1962 Volkswagen Beetle. You want to see the art? There is the art. Let's open it up. This one's in a taxi deco. Matchbox has done Beetle Taxis before. Um, yeah, as the um, Emery 5 JDM is saying Mexican cab. It has, yeah, it has a Mexican cab uh, kind of feel to it, right? Because it has that red, and, or sorry, that yellow and green combination. I don't know if it's supposed to be completely, I don't think it's, like they actually did, I think, a true version of the Mexican Beetle cab several years ago um, and that looks really cool so this one's nice I, I the I don't I'm not keen on the yellow bumpers but uh, a lot of people like the beetle nice combination so well actually let's put that here okay so this is the one I said that I think I'll, there will be a lot of people really digging this one Chevy Caprice classic I think we see it in a five pack right now it's this is the third version but this one is doing the RCMP. So this one is licensed. Canada Police, right? Any of you Canadians there who can talk about this police car, this or what the RCMP is, you can kind of tell them what it is. Let me show you the art. There it is there. This one is cool. I think there's a lot of people excited about this one. So let's open it up and have a look. Really nice casting. Didn't it debut as an NYPD? So this one's getting some really nice treatment. Check this out. How nice is that? Charlie boy, that Caprice is dope. I agree. Like I said, there's another version. I saw it in a 10-pack, but it's coming in a 5-pack or if it isn't already out. Josh had an 89 Caprice. This is awesome, isn't it? 
So if someone wants to talk about um, what the RCMP is from Canada, it should definitely do it. Caprice has the same deco as the Dodge Charger Pursuit. I think you're right, right? Let me see if I can find that. Dodge Charger Pursuit. Boom. Found it. Found it, found it, found it. I like filming outside when we can, but when we don't, this is the advantage because I have the collection right next to me. There you go. Look at that. I totally forgot. Good call, whoever dropped that. Good call. I knew I had seen that somewhere. <laughs> so now we have the Caprice and the Dodge Charger. You're going to have to go back. Royal Can Canadian Mounted Police, right? Okay. Thanks, Chris. That's right. I don't want to say it wrong. That's why I'm asking someone else to do it. So... Canada's National National Police Service, the RCMP, are primarily responsible for enforcing federal laws throughout Canada, whereas general law and order, including the enforcement of the criminal code. Thank you, guys. See, this is why it's fun to do it live. I wouldn't be able to give you this information if I was doing it, um, if I was doing it recorded. So there are two. So you have to go back and find this charger if you want it, if you want both. But that is a very cool combination of cars. Thank you, whoever dropped that. Nice call. I should just do all my videos live, right? If you want me to do that, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down if you don't want me to do it. But I like doing live because it's fun to talk to you guys. All right, let's keep going while that is doing it. I think we're almost to new castings. We have four in this particular mix, but we have one more to open. This is the 1956 Aston Martin DBR1. Let's show you the artwork here. I'm getting a lot of thumbs up. That's good. I can't say, I can't guarantee I'll do them all live, but they are fun. All right. Let's, there's the Aston Martin art. Let's open this up. We've seen this twice, right? In green, basically both times. Um, first in Top Gun, the Top Gun 5-pack. And then we have that kind of metallic green in the basic range with the 5-spokes. And so here we have it in silver. I've been asked if this is Zamac. I don't think it is. Sometimes you just look at it. I think it's just a straight-up silver. And how pretty is this one? Absolutely beautiful. Silver with the 10 spokes, red interior, kind of a maroon interior. This casting is just gorgeous. Chris says Bond, James Bond. See the Aston Martin badge there on the back? I don't know if that comes through or not. Um, yeah, it looks like a lot of you guys are digging this one. So why don't you have a focus on that one and let's go to the four new models. One unlicensed, but with a history and then three licensed cars. So let's start. We're going to go back because we said we have a tow hitch. We do. Here on the field Matchbox field car. Now let me tell you what this is. And I'm not a Matchbox historian. I'm going to show you the artwork here. It looks kind of like in the art. I think people might think that's kind of like a Wagoneer style. The field car was, I don't know what year it was made, but the field car is, an, it's just like Hot Wheels going back and doing like Dioras and stuff like that. The field car is a Matchbox original casting. And this is an updated version of that model. And so it's got a lot of history. In fact, this is, and I don't know if this has been out there, this is actually the 2021 Toy Fair model as well. By Matchbox. Let's open it up. So, you know, Matchbox will do the toy fairs in that maroon color, and this is the one this year. So, they're really kind of like playing with their Matchbox heritage with this one. And this isn't the only, you know, this is, might be one of the only unlicensed ones. And I, I, I'm guessing that some of you are going to say, oh, I don't like it because it's not licensed. I get it. But this is a really cool shout out to a lot of the original, you know, like Matchbox collectors who like the old school stuff. And I think there's a slot for things like this. So if it may not be your cup of tea, and it may not be, it may not be my cup of tea, but I think this is a really nice version um, of this casting. It's really well done, and it's it's definitely a piece of history. So if you look it up, go to eBay or something, you look up the Matchbox Field Car, you'll see the original, and this is an updated version of that. We have the tow hook, so let's go ahead and put the trailer on it. There you go. So you can have a look at it that way. And since this one is an original, it makes a lot of sense to have a tow hook, right? 
looks like a jacked up VW Cabriolet <laughs> kind of does. You're right. Has like almost like a Wagoneer grill with a VW silhouette, right? Yeah, we have this uh, this golf here. Should we open it and put it next to it just for the heck of it? Let's do it. Why not? Why not? Here. This was from Mix A and I never opened it, so it gives me a good excuse to open it. They're not totally similar, but there's there are some similarities there. Mark 1 GTI and Bronco 2 had a baby. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Rabbit on steroids. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. My cup of tea? Probably not. But, you know, like, does everything have to be, like, exactly what I want or you want? No. No. Be kind of difficult to collect everything anyway. So let's get that going. All right, let's talk about these other three. Let's start with this guy. There's a little crack in the blister. Good thing I'm going to open it. This is the 2020 Audi TTRS Coupe. So let it roll around like this. Brand new Casty, new Audi TT. They've done two others. They've done a convertible and a hardtop from the original Audi TT from years and years and years and years and years ago. You want to see the art? There's the art of the Audi TT. I don't know if I have, I don't think I do have the original Audi TT that uh, Matchbox did. Again, we talked about tea and cups of tea and so the Audi TT originally, no. This one's nice though. It's a larger casting, which I think is fine because you can, you know, sometimes the, sometimes the Matchbox castings can be a little too small in cases. This one I think looks nice. Dad loves the newer TT. Do I have a Honda Accord Coupe? No. Um, not a cup of tea. Art is nice. Love the baby blue. Agree. That's a great color. Great debut color for the outer. And I'm sure that's a stock color too, right? Enamel blue reminds me of the RS6 Avant from 2008. Yeah, and you'll be seeing that color on several models in the future. Several Audis on both from both brands. Right? Hasn't that been released or not? I don't know. Has that been said? Maybe not. I don't know. By the way, Jimmy Lou has some stuff to preview, so I might do an interview with him soon on Instagram. The Audi TT. Okay, which one do you guys want to see while that one's rolling around first? You want to see the Ford Capri first, or do you want to see the Bentley Bentega? Did I say that right? You guys can tell me if I'm saying it right. Will the Bentega, they want to see that. Bentega, Bentega, darker black, will... Will we see another um, color of the Corvette? Yes, we will. All right, let's do the Bentega, and then we'll do the Capri, right? To me, I think the Capri is the star of this mix, so we'll save that, and let's get to this Bentley. There's your art. Bentley Bentega, and there's the model. Now, we're going to do something, because I showed a picture of this on Instagram and some people were like, oh, has it got an interior? It's too, the windows are too dark. I don't see why it wouldn't have an interior, but we're going to see if we can figure it out because the windows are very dark on this. All right, you ready to see it? I'm looking at it here. The windows are really dark. I can't see through them. But I have to think, and I'll ask the Matchbox team, I'll ha I have to think it has an interior. There is absolutely no reason why it wouldn't. <sighs> Sorry. Piece of dust on it. Why do so many Matchbox have no interior? Most have interior. <laughs> they really do. Everything that we've shown, except, so, so like, I'll give you an example while this is turning. Does this truck have an interior? No. Why? Because it has this extra piece. It's all about, you got to have the wheels, the base, the interior, and the body, and the windows. So when you add an additional piece to something, something else has to give to keep it a $1 model. In this case, they put this yellow piece on this truck, so they got rid of the interior and just added dark windows. So the reason I don't think, I think the Bentley has an interior is they didn't have to add anything. They didn't have to, there's no, you know, there's just a base, interior, wheels, body, windows. And so it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense that they wouldn't create an interior for this one. I think they just did darker windows. Maybe Bentley wanted super dark tinted windows, windows on this one. So I can't even look in there and see it. I have no idea. I could try a flashlight or something and 
Oh, wait. No, I still can't tell. I'll see if I can figure it out, and I'm sure Abe will text me or something and tell me. Can I put my phone flashlight up to it? I can, except I'm using my phone to film this. So, there you go. That is the Bentley. We'll let that rotate, and let's get to the Ford Capri. So this is, I mean, I could, here, do you want me to show you the other Bentley they've done? We're here, we might as well. Oh, look, we even have a similar color. So while I'm opening up the Capri, there you go. How about that? Two Bentleys, Bentega, Bentega. What do you guys think of this one, by the way? Thumbs up, thumbs down on the Bentega. I like it. And then, of course, the Continental GT next to it. Um, if you can look, by looking at the in-between the wheels, you can see the plastic. You guys want to look? I'm sure there's an interior in there. We'll find out. We will find out. Okay. So those are the two Bentleys looking good. All right, and let's open up this Ford Capri. 1970 Ford Capri. Our friends in the UK dealing with a lot of junk right now. At least we can give them some excitement by checking out that cool model. There's the art. Let's open this up. I guess they're excited about the Bentley too, right? Very British. Okay, let's open this. Let's look at this. I'm looking at it here. I'm being selfish. Wow, this is nice. Okay. Bentley, Bentley, Capri. Matchbox, I'm going to break the glass. No. All right, look at the front of that. You got that racing stripe on the top, Ford logo, or not logo, but the Ford detailing on the hood. You got the headlights. This one doesn't have taillights. I don't know if they added it. It's maybe because they did the hood piece on it. So you can see it's got the one side mirror, right-hand drive, which is appropriate. Cool wheels. I think this one... I like the Bentley, I like the Audi, I like the field car, but I think you would, I think right now what Matchbox has done, let's say these two are the stars for me so far, for 2021. Cool classic Plymouth, and then a classic Ford Capri. And I believe, guys, in Mix 3, we'll see the Nova, the new Nova casting. I think you guys are going to dig it, I saw it. I saw an image of it. It looks good. I'm sure it'll get leaked soon enough, right? Maybe Matchbox will show it. They should. So there you go. Ford and the uh, Plymouth. I think those are your hits. All right. Let's go ahead. We've gone long enough. Let's add some of these newer models here. Things people want to see. You guys, tell me what you think. I'm really glad this was fun to go live, um, do this live. I did think about doing it as a produced video, but it is fun to chat with you guys, see what your comments are. Videos always end up being a little bit longer, but hopefully they are worth it. You guys, tell me what you think. What's your favorite of this mix? You got um, the four new models to 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 uh, choose from. You've got the uh, field car, you got the Bentley, you got the Audi TT, and you got the Capri, right? Think about which ones you like. And then, guys, we'll get to Lamley Ward's Hot Wheels. I've got, uh, where is it? Oh, right over here. Um, I've got the new car culture to do. I know that's showing up in stores right now. We'll do a video on that one, too. Maybe we'll do that live as well. So you guys tell me what you think. Looking for your comments. Stay tuned, Lamley Warts everything. We're not going to take time off for the holidays. We're going to bust right through it and celebrate the best of 2020. Thanks, everybody. Bye.